good morning, good morning. I have a very, very messy desk here. I just came back from Walmart. Look at this little guy. It's a three by five, but it's kind of cute. And then I had trees and this one, but they were in the school supplies for like a dollar. So I'm like, hello, you must come home with me. All right, today we're doing this page, but I kind of wanted to focus on this according to my drawing or that shape, I guess. And the song, I don't remember what I said yesterday. What was the song gonna be? Oh, lollipop, lollipop. <laughs> Anyhow, so, I, um, and who knows if it's gonna stay that way. I feel like there's a light out, there is a light out. Here we go. And this stupid camera. Oh my gosh, this thing keeps moving. Anyhow. All right, so I picked a piece of paper out of my stash that, not the bucket, which I'm supposed to be depleting, but alas, it's my rules, my bucket. <laughs> I, um, it was, a, it's an ad for something that has white and green on it. So I painted it yellow and green or ochre and green with um, that dab was painting outside. And there's a little bit of a, um, a rusty color. So then I went over it with pink on those rust bits and just kind of put like a half circle and then ran some errands. So I think I'm going to, that's going to be my starting point. I don't know what's going to happen after that. I just got off the phone with my sister, who's getting ready to have a hurricane um, in California, which the last one they had was in 1958 that hit the coast. It went up the Baja Peninsula, and then it comes into California, but I don't know if it's going to hit her or not. She might get a little rain. It's supposed to be like a tropical depression by the time it gets to her, or Category 1. She didn't even know what was going to happen. So it's a good thing she called me, I guess. So I could tell her what news is happening in her part of the world. Okay, so now that's what we have to work with. And I feel like this is conducive. Maybe I need to put another color on the other side because I wanted that lollipop shape. So let's see here. I have a rusty orange color, but okay. And then we need our lollipop sticks, right? There's silver. And it doesn't really, which barely shows up, but it really doesn't have to be representative of a lollipop. But it did show like this in those pictures. So now, I don't know what to do. This is acrylic and it is dry. So I'm wondering if I can put watercolor on top. Oh, you know what? Let's just go with Neo color too. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if this lime green will show up. Yeah, it does a little bit actually. I'll make a geometric shape here, some kind. Maybe another one over here. Is this one broken too? No, I don't think so. Has anybody watched Gaynor? I think she pronounces her name Gaynor. She's British um, of some kind. Gaynor? Paddle or prattle? Oh my gosh. There's just something about her technique and her approach. I think she's a lot more professional than she lets on. But, um, I 
I really like her. Relaxed vibe. And I can relate to the scatterbrain. She calls herself scatterbrain. I'm not saying anything she doesn't say. All right, let's see here. Ooh, I like this blue much better. Ooh. My grandfather met Shirley Temple, <laughs> who sang Lollipop, Lollipop, right? Isn't that who sang it? In the old days, all the stars would go to Hawaii on cruise ships. And he worked as a merchant marine, ocean vessel person, not in the military. Um, and he met a bunch of them. Danny Kay. That we used, I think my sister has pictures of some of the people he met. And one of them was Shirley Temple. When she was tiny, probably like seven or eight in her heyday. I like that blue. I'm just doodling till I feel like stopping. But I think I'm going to add some black. Um, yeah, my stabilo's here. I'm going to get my big one out. Because I love this thing. So now when I hit it with water, kind of just smears it in a good way. Oh, you know what? It is activating something. It might be activating the acrylic that was there or the, or the um, tempera paint stick. Is the pink and the orange are tempera. And so is the silver. I think my dog just stole a pillow off of my bed. You could tell by the way he runs down the hall. If he has something he knows he's not supposed to, he runs fast. Ooh, that's a mess. Um... stop with that one. Dear? Yeah, he did steal something. And I just bought him a brand new dinosaur. Was that my pillow? Yep. It's so bad. <laughs> Alright, here's a little bit of purple. You get any flavor you want in this lollipop shop. Licorice, blueberry, plum, strawberry, tangerine. But they're rather expensive because, you know, I got to pay for my art supplies. <laughs> I really kind of, it's different. It's the same stuff, but a different color palette. I still love this one. I wonder if I could rip this one in half. Should I? I think I'm going to. And I don't want to know what I'm doing, so I'm going to turn it upside down. like a earthquake register. Oh, 
I kind of like that. Now, let's go back in with the purple and blue and maybe green you know, color twos. And make some lines here. Scribbly. I'm just swishing the crayon around in my hand. Let me glue this down and see what it looks like. I like this one too. There's something about splitting it apart. Or maybe I'm just partial to things that measure earthquakes. <laughs> this is a rocky lollipop. Where am I going to put the song? Oopsie. This is still wet, so I'm trying to... Actually, where's a card? I have one here. Hmm. This mess of stuff. Now that lady um, uses a lot of wash, which she would take like a little bit of white maybe and scrape it across. But I don't think I wanna do that. Okay, we need to put lollipop. I'm gonna put it right here. Lolly. Lollipop, lollipop. I like that. There's something about this separated thing. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see what we're going to be doing next. Oh, this is Saturday for you, isn't it? Hmm. I tried to make my videos on Saturday a little bit longer. Okay, the next one. Should we do another one? Long shadow. Oh. I wanted to use those words, but I don't know the song. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. I was a huge Andy Gibb person. Huge. Shadow Dancing. Does anybody remember that song? Shadow Dancing? Okay, we're going to make another one. <laughs> we're going to make another one. Shadow Dancing. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it has to have... Okay, this is um, a little damp. So I'm going to put a little bit of paper in the middle. This is just deli paper, so it doesn't get stuck to the next page. All right. Shadow. Long shadow. See, now here. Oh, wait a minute. Black and white for shadows. Ooh. This might work. I like this as a start. Trying to cut off the white print, the margin here. Maybe just a little bit of color up in these shadows. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want them all the way, like little moons. Oh, yes. Sometimes you just know when you know. But I kind of like them offset from each other. But I need a really moody one. I don't know if I have any more over here. These circles that I 
cut out for other things and never really used them. But never fear. We've got some more moody paper here. I just rhymed. Oh, this might be my new favorite. You're not supposed to say that about your children, are you? Oh, well. Apparently, I would not make a good mother. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, first of all, we got to take this down. And... Come on, Shadow. Oh, I cut it a little too short. That's okay. All right, I think, where's my glue stick? Ooh. This glue stick is getting quite grungy, which it tends to happen as they get at the end. Speaking of grungy, apparently I'm getting into my work today. I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done. I think. I've already got to take care of the dog. And he tends to freak out in here. Okay. Oh, I love this. See, they barely are visible, but that's good. That's a good thing. They're real shadows. Whew, I really like this. That one is not cut very well. Okay. There's enough color on there. Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. So what's happening here this weekend? Nothing. My granddaughter's doing okay at her new school. That child is in the seventh grade. I thought she was in the sixth grade. Jeez. You know what? I'm going to put these two under because these two didn't have the benefit of the pre-cut circle. And it's already glued down. I might put this one over here since this circle will butt up against this one if I put it on this side which is where it's supposed to be well actually there's no supposed to be anything it could be whatever I want whatever it wants but oh gosh I should have put these underneath but that's okay that's okay Now let's glue this and this. I don't know if you can even see it. Is it showing up on your side? All right, let's see if I can throw some of these little snippets away. Ooh, that's a pretty one. What can I throw away here? I can throw these away. Okay. All right. I still have some some circles left over here. Oh, here's a bright one, but that would not have been a good one for this. Although, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to write it here in the shadows of the spine. Shadow dancing. 
that was a tragedy when Andy Gibb died the way he died. Poor Barry Gibb. He's the only one left. I, okay, it needs something. Should I go around this way with the Stabilo and not maybe not get it wet, just add a little definition? Hmm. The dark side of the moon. I love it. And you really can't see that there. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold on. There's a, this is white paint stick. There's circles on this paper. This is just some of the, my old spreads that I put together as a mishmash and then I printed it in black and white. There's a Ali Edwards thing in there. There's a chicken in here too. Maybe it was in one of these places from By Bun. She went to see Taylor Swift <laughs> by herself. <sighs> but there were circumstances for that. I really like this. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I think I, I say I'm done. I think I'm gonna put a little white around here. <gasps> Not that much. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Believe it or not. See why you do these prompts? Cool things come from them. Super cool. Super cool. Not to be confused with Super Freak. Another song from the 70s or 80s. drawer open up oh, it's the wrong one oh. try not to lose my supplies here Ooh, I'm hot underneath all these lights oh I love that I hope this shows up as much as it's showing up here. This is really cool. Oh, there's my card that I was looking for. Oh, more circles. Lots more circles. But these were the right ones. These were the right ones. No second guessing yourself. No second guessing allowed. Right? Right. Only happy trees. And painted hands. Look at all this. Good grief. Okay. Thanks for watching. Happy Saturday. As I put a happy tree in my mouth. Bye.